hello everyone welcome to best t-shirt designs today i am going to make another t-shirt design and this is going to be on biker niche and for this one i am going to use some vectors those are from free picks but i will share this vector bundle in my facebook group so you can download them from there and for downloading them you will need a password that is this one btd biker this will be the password for that file and this is the text i'm going to create here like i'm going to use in this design so first step is i need to make it i need to make the graphic part so as you can see by reading this text you are seeing that this is something of a mechanic text like someone is a mechanic and he is, don't like his tools to be tasked so that is the theme of this design so that's why i'm going to make it I'm going to make it a biker design but I want to use this element to make it a like a motorcycle mechanic not something else so these are the vectors from my previous video the second amendment one and these are the some of the tools I will be using so let's take them I'm going to copy them I'm not sure whichever one I will use but let's try with everything so first idea is to put something in this hand and for that i am going to use this one so first step is i am going to put it in a way that it is going to be like i want him to holding that kind of this style so for that i need to make some space here in this middle area where the hands will be so for this one i am going to first of all trim it like the regular and then i am going to double click and then pressing y for magic one tool to erase this color and then i'm going to select everything make them black so black is filling this area that means there is some empty stroke so let's cut it then press ctrl a to select them and then press ctrl f that is going to make it look like this now make it complete black but it is not grouped together so let's group it and then i will make that area so i am using my direct selection tool which is here and with my direct selection tool if i make a selection like this now i can by using my arrow tool i can bring them down so you can see this is not looking very realistic but it will work for me because i want to put that here inside this area so for that it is a bit longer so i need to reduce the height a bit something like this and that is fine okay and then i will make it a bit bigger in size something like this much bigger that is good so in this area this is how i want it to be and then okay maybe that is a bit too much big let's make it a bit smaller now this is not maintaining the real life proportions because that can take too much space here i just want to make it look something like this like he is holding that so like that i'm going to place them here then let's distribute like align them and then i'm going to select all of this and distribute them so this is the center position here now for this area i want to make it look like this part should be behind the hand and this should not be visible and of course for this area this is i want to erase some part from here like this because i want this part to be come and join here so i am using my direct selection tool to making this small changes and you can see this is how it will look like that finger is going behind that shape so that is fine okay if i do not erase it that is okay too so i can simply make this modification here and that is done and then for hiding this area you can see so this part should not be visible so i am selecting this one this engine part and then opening the transparency for them let's take black fill and now i am taking my pencil tool you can take any tool you want like pencil tool pen tool anyone whichever you can just draw with fill color and then i am going to draw some shapes so this part will remain here because that is not part of the finger but this part is so let's hide this part again let's hide this one too i will keep that part then i will hide this part 
so this is just very simple if you once understand the transparency this is really easy and for this one let's do the same here so i'm going to hide this part okay not this part this part too like this then i'm going to keep that part and then hide this part so this is just same thing if you understand transparency once it is just it is going to remain same each and every time just draw something in black wherever you want to hide so this is how it is looking that's fine now for this area i want to keep my this engines on top and the hand in the background so i am going to first of all select copy this this shape you can see and then if i select this hand part open transparency and then press ctrl f here so ctrl f will make it place it exactly in the front and where it was you can see here so if i just make it merge here merge and then unite it is going to make it a complete one single shape and this is making a bit problem because you see in this area we hide that part so again we are hiding that from the hand too that means this area is becoming transparent anyway don't worry about this just select this shape take your eraser tool maybe a bit bigger in size and then erase this part whichever area you don't need i don't need this part of the graphic i just only want this part so i'm taking keeping that part and then i'm erasing the rest of it so inside this hand we placed only this two shape and that is hiding the part of the hand and then inside this engine part i am going i am placing these shapes so all these small shapes and that is hiding that part so this is how my graphic is looking right now and i am happy with that let's group it so that i don't lose its position that is fine so for here i want to use a skull with a biker helmet this is not a biker design this is a me biker mechanic design but still i want to give it a similar feel so this is a skull from djm studio this is the very common kind of skull you will find on free pick so if you are using this kind of skulls it can be copyrighted because tons of other designers can use the same thing so i want to make it a bit modify i want to modify a bit that means i will use this skull but i will use this helmet here so how to do that first of all i am going to select this skull and then i will erase this part exactly whatever i don't need so you can see this is how it is looking and for this part i will erase some more areas like this that is good i will keep that black border and then i will just use this part i will erase this part of here and that is good this can be a bit tricky but if you understand the transparency once this is really simple so i'm erasing this part because i will just use the helmet part nothing else and then of course here this part so you can see this is how it is looking if i double click here to isolate the group i can simply select this part i can erase this part whatever i don't need this can take a bit time to practice but it's a good practice to do so this is here is my helmet so if i now place it here on top of my this skull this is how it is going to be but i will make it a bit down here something like this so i need to make it a bit smaller in size so for making a graphic like this you need to understand one thing that okay let me just make it red so that we can see so we need to match it here so this part of the helmet should match with the part of the skull here like it is not matching here so that is not good we need to match it and when it is going to match there we are going to it is going to work perfectly for us so this is how it is looking don't worry in this part this part of the skull i don't need that so how to fix it there is two way of doing this like one is we can use transparency to hide this part or we can simply erase this part because this is not a very important part we are not going to make changes on that so for that i am going to select this part okay before that erasing i am going to use transparency so that you can see both ways so i am selecting the skull here then open transparency 
and here I am going to use my pen tool because I will it will give me more control so I need to just draw a shape okay not like that a shape in black of course in black fill and then I will just stay inside this border of the helmet here don't worry whatever is happening here we will take care of that so this is how it is going to be and then here in this point I am going to make an end and then I am going to go in the opposite direction like this part I want to hide not the opposite part okay so you can see I have a big black shape that is hiding my skull click here <coughs> then select this part make it black and if it is looking good to you then you can erase the part so how to erase it i am going to select this part the skull then inside the transparency i will find this shape let's cut it now select this skull and then press ctrl f here so this is placed on top of my this skull and here you need to focus i need to select this both shape this big black shape and then this skull shape so i am going to press shift and then select them both and with them selected i have to use minus front but before using minus front press alt on your keyboard and then click on this minus front it is going to look like this something has happened here but don't worry just go to object and then expand the appearance and that part is going to be perfectly erased so now you cannot make change in there and this is lot lighter file than the transparency but if you are 100 percent sure that you will not need changes then you can do that otherwise you can keep that in transparency so that you can modify later anyway so this is the hardest part of our this graphic i want to place it something like this and then for tools here to represent the tools i will use these shapes here so this is a tool shape i will just trim it then double click i'm going to use my magic wand tool to select the black cut it then press ctrl a delete ctrl f to paste in front and then make it black okay that is black let's make it unite so unite will make it one single graphic and that is good and for this part too i am going to just trim it double click use our using magic wand tool select them make it black so that is fine now this is one shape and then that is another shape another tool so i am going to place it here and then i am going to place it here so this is how it is looking okay so there is a little problem that this two is not in same style let me fix it okay guys so i am going to use these tools now sorry for this and this is you will find this one just by searching for tools in free pick and this is free one so you can just download that and use so i'm going to and the reason i'm changing the tools here is let me explain that so in this point i realized that these two are not in same style drawing so they are different in style so i don't like this style to change in is one design i don't like to use different style drawings or vectors so that's why i change it to this shape this vector pack and as you can see they are all drawn in same style so that is what i like anyway so let's distribute the space between them and then i will just make sure that everything is in same size this is not really important but these are small things okay so this is how my design is looking right now and for this one i will just use it in opposite direction like this so for this one i am going to use it like let me show you so this is the position i want it to be and this one i want it in this direction just in the opposite direction of it that is good and i want to keep their bottom position like in the same place something like this that is good and then for this one i will use it here i don't know if it is going to look good or not but yet let's try this is talking about 
the tools so i want to make sure that it is lots of tool is being used here and then i am going to make it a group and for this one or this design i will place it here like the tools are being visible from the behind the skull that is good but this one i will just make sure that it is visible enough like the tools header visible because that is what makes them maybe like this okay so that much is good to me good for me so let's try this one this let's select this skull and the helmet part copy this then i'm going to select this group open transparency and then press ctrl f ctrl f will place it here let's merge unite so merge unite will make it one complete single color shape and that is in black so everything that was behind that shape is now invisible so that is how it is looking right now let's try to make it a little smaller in size because i want the overall shape to be not too big so let's group it so this is how my design is looking right now and here is another interesting thing it you will find this in the aps file that i will share so this is called a chain like right so this is a bike chain and with a chain like this we can simply create a pattern brush so i'm going to select this one and then go to brush click on new then pattern brush click ok and then click ok again so this is how you will get a pattern brush and this is really interesting because now we can apply that in an interesting way so let's first of all create a ellipse here and i want to make it really big so that everything is inside this shape so that is good let's make it a bit bigger and this is the shape let's make it okay before that let's make sure it is in the center position but it is not looking center so let's make it manually so i think this is the center position and then i'm going to create a offset path of that ellipse in a bit bigger size then again create another offset path okay so i'm using the shortcut of offset path but you have to go to here object path and then offset path so on this center one center ellipse i can simply apply this pattern brush and you can see this is how it is looking but i will make it a bit smaller in size and that's it so you can see how easily we created a cool looking effect and for a design like this that is really good let's group it so for this one i will just make it a little bigger here now in this position maybe okay let's copy that and then i will select this group open transparency for them press ctrl f so this is how it is looking don't worry just make it merge unite so merge unite will make it one single shape and here i will i don't want to make it i don't want to keep it visible from this area so i will just use my pencil tool to hide this part of the shape and that is good so this is now visible from that area only okay so that is good maybe i will use this shape i am not sure i wanted to use it but let's try if it is usable or not so i'm going to select this shape then let's try to add make it black and i'm making everything black because i want to make sure that everything is in same color and transparency works good with black only so ctrl x ctrl b and i think that is too much but let's keep it here for now if needed we will use that later so this is how my overall graphic is looking right now let's make it a group again so everything is in a group and now i will need to place it in a area where i can fit my text so this is how my text is i need to make it let's break the lines so prayer is the best way to meet the lord lord of course this part i am going to keep on top 
so let's use it here maybe i will use a font called barbaro western so this is a biker style font and the reason i'm using that is because this is a biker font that is a western font basically so western fonts are good for biker niche i'm going to copy this shape this ellipse here and with that copied i'm going to press ctrl f here so that i can place it and then i am going to make it bigger so this is how it is looking right now so on this ellipse i will use my this one this text prayer, prayer is the best way to meet the lord now this meet the lord i will cut it now i am going to select this one type on a path tool click here on this anchor point and press ctrl v so ctrl v is going to place it paste it here now let's try to move the text here this part here and then this part i want to make it okay sometime it happens like you can see those anchor points are not visible so just press right and left key on your keyboard and it is going to bring those anchor points again so let's make it here okay so this is how it is looking right now prayer prayer is the best way to meet the lord and for this design i need to bring some ruler here so that we can see what is the wide of my this design okay so maybe i locked that guide let's unlock it and then here i'm going to place it in this position not like this just to make sure that we have the same wide of for everything then lock it again so this is how my text is right now let's make it a bit bigger so this one i am going to make it as big as possible so something like aligning it with the artboard there and here is a curve so let's try to add a effect here that is called the arc lower and with arc lower let's make it make that part lower so that it fits in that way so it is now looking like this prayer okay i need to add some more text and that is way to okay sorry so i am going to make it like this prayer is the best way to meet the lord okay maybe i will use it sorry guys so let's do it in this way not that much bigger so here and then prayer is the best way so i have two more text that is this one the best and the way so i'm going to place it place them here not like this maybe i'll i will just change the font to this way and then let's break it so this is no more a font or editable font just like this shapes like this and then press ctrl v here so this is how it is looking is the best way to meet the lord now the best and the way this two i will okay i need to make it a group okay and then i will just use it here the best and the way this two in this way now this is not really important to keep them in very much center i'll just use some effect on them so let's try to use arc lower but arc lower not in this direction here i will make it plain bend i will make it zero i will increase this one so in this direction in this position so this is minus 40 and minus 30 percent and then i am going to go to that one then i am going to wrap arc lower and then same thing so in this time i am going to just make it everything in 
positive direction so just like this and this is the okay so this one i will use it in this way anyway that is this is how it is looking don't worry let's expand the effect here and then i am going to break the text is the best and then here okay now this is not very much very much perfect way to place a text but this is something unique okay so this is how it is looking and i'm going to make it a little smaller so that it can be visible that is good prayer is the best way to meet the lord okay so i'm um, sorry guys this is the best way to meet the lord this is not too much bigger as text so you can simply add that here okay so anyway this is another way you can put your text i hope it will help in that way and so this is how it is looking prayer is the best way to meet the lord now here the lord is the focus text so we can keep that a focus like putting that in this area or something but i want to keep it here so that it looks like everything in a single in a similar area and of, of course the graphic part is also a bit, it, it this is a bigger graphic so this is already going to be a big design so if i make it too separated like if i make it too many lines it will become a very long design which is not what i want so that's why i want to keep it like this anyway so the best way to meet the lord but this is a slang so okay so this but i want to place it here of course i don't want it to be i don't want to waste this area of my design and i don't want to give it a separate line as that will also make it make some extra area for that which i don't want so i'm going to group it and then i'm going to make it smaller in size and then i'll just select this one make that the key object and place it here so that is good now i will just select this one this shape copy that then i'm going to select my this one this main graphic group then open transparency for them and press ctrl f here then press shift x so shift x will make it fill and that area will be that area will hide so this is how it is looking but with my tools okay so this one i will just want to keep it here i want to keep this part a bit bigger because that is the slang and that is the focus part of the text here so something like this that is good for me and then with my tools will make it faster okay so here the faster they are giving the faster a bit focus let's not do that because i just want to make everything in a certain area and i don't want it to make it like too long as a design i already spent some time and to make the center graphics so i don't want it to be invisible i want it i want that to be the most interesting part of my this design okay so this is how it is looking right now and for the rest of the area i will add some more element to fill that area but for now i will just add some more area here so let's bring that a bit up let's use this effect that is called arc upper not like this let's make it zero and then here i will just make it something like this not too much so this is good so as you can see this is just utilizing the area we already have so this is the this is the area we already have so we can simply make this arc here to make a gap and then as this is already made 
we can bring in this part here like to utilizing this area and of course that will make that part a bit bigger too and then i'm going to copy this shape again and for this area this sorry guys so this shape i'm going to just erase the previous one then delete press ctrl f and then press shift x so this is how it is looking okay so you can see this is how my main design is now looking let's add some more shape to fill this area so for this area i'm just going to draw a random shape which is going to be something like this and don't worry whatever it is i'm just filling in that shape let's make it a group and then i'm going to select this the key object then align it so that is good and for this area i will use something similar just like this it doesn't have to be a very perfect shape just add something to fill it and also this is not really important to fill this area you can keep them you can leave them but still if you can fill there something that is also good so that is the area is looking right now and then for this area i will just add some more shapes so something like this okay let's add it okay let's not do it in that way i'm going to use my curvature tool here just to this is not looking very good but don't worry we can take care of that okay so this is just a random shape and then i will bring that shape to in this direction so this is becoming a heavy file already let's group it then i'm going to select this shape make that the key object and this is how it is looking okay so this is good now for this area i will just add a simple star shape just to fill this gap and i think that is good but for this area i, I want to add some more shapes to here because that will just this is this is how it is looking and this area will look some empty space so that is not going to look good so i'm going to use this shape here in this area but make sure that it is in the center position and that is good and this one i'm just going to place it in the background so maybe in a bit bigger size so that it is overlapping with the rest of it but don't worry let's cut it press ctrl b to paste in back now i need to select my this shape so this one the graphic part with this let's copy it and then i'm going to select this shape engine shape and then press ctrl f here paste in front then merge unite so merge unite will make it one single shape and that is going to hide the part of the engine and of course i don't want this part so let's hide this from here and that is how it is looking that is looking good so i'm going to select this one to copy and then i will select this group this brush group and then inside the transparency paste it now merge unite so merge unite will make it will hide that part of the graphic so this is how it is looking and this is how my final design is looking right now i hope you will get some advanced level idea from this design and this is how you can make a customized vector design now i will get some comments asking me if you can use these graphics or not 
the answer is yes you can use this graphics for making your design for commercial and personal use but do not just use it as it is you can just you can you can see you can combine them to make a unique graphic you can modify them to make a new graphic so that is how you can use them and of course you should not use this kind of skulls or obvious thing you can use this kind of small parts of the design that is not like no one can recognize where it is from but this can be recognizable so don't use this ones use these smaller parts to make your design then upload then on any other any site you want so that's it for today's video guys i hope this one will give you some advanced level idea see you in the next video guys have a great time thank you for watching my videos thank you very much